it's Lee, and today I'm going to be making low carb bacon cheeseburger casserole. So the first step is frying up your bacon. You can fry it whole and then chop it or just chop it up and fry it like I'm doing here. So while the bacon is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and whisk together the eggs. The tomato paste. the heavy cream, and the seasonings. Now the original recipe doesn't call for garlic powder, but I've made this before, so I know that we need more garlic in it, so I'm going to be adding garlic powder and onion powder to this mixture. No real measurements, just sprinkling. Then just whisk to combine. The bacon is done, so I'm just going to drain it on some paper towel until I need it. The next step is to cook your ground beef with onion powder, although I'm actually using a real onion, and garlic. I'm gonna go a little heavy on the garlic, just for the extra flavor. And the recipe doesn't call for this, but I'm adding black pepper. We found this recipe to be a little bit bland, so I'm adding lots of flavor to every layer of the dish. Also, full disclosure, this ground beef was already cooked and in my freezer, so I'm just heating it up and cooking down the onion and garlic a bit. I just left the bacon grease in the pan and I'm using that to get this all heated up. So once the meat is completely cooked, you just wanna put it into a 13 by nine inch pan. in your cooked bacon. And about two thirds of your sharp cheddar cheese. Then you just wanna mix to combine everything. The dogs heard that bag of cheese, so now they're under my feet. serving this with green beans and normally when I make this I'm trying to stick to the recipe for this video I would just throw the green beans right into the casserole it just makes an easy one pot meal but I'm not gonna do that today I'm gonna show you mostly the way the original recipe is then you're gonna pour your egg mixture over the top let me grab a spatula This is hard to do and show on camera. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna spread it out. And then I'm just gonna like wiggle it around a little bit to get that egg mixture down in there. I guess you could just you don't really want to stir it, but I just want the egg mixture to kind of seep down in a little bit. And then top with the remaining cheddar cheese. Now 
Now you just pop this in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes and it will be ready. Here it is, fresh from the oven. We're gonna need to let that cool down just a little bit before cutting into it. Here's what it looks like when it's plated. It is so delicious. You are going to love this. So try this recipe out and take a picture and tag me on Instagram or Twitter. The links to my accounts are down below in the description box. So if you like this recipe, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.